Hi, my name is Fred Newman. I'm the owner of the View Camera Store and Fred Newman Photography. And today I'd like to talk about ultra large format. In particular, we're going to talk about the Canon 7x17 camera. The 7x17 Canon camera is basically with an 8x10 base from the wood camera. These, a lot of the Canon cameras are convertible. So if you get an 8x10 camera, you can convert it to 7x17, 8x20, and even 10x12 or you can get the camera separately. So there's three variations, actually four variations on the Canon 8x10. The same with the 4x5 Canon wood. You can convert it to, you can change the back to make a 5x7. You can get a back and a bellows to do a 4x10 or a 5x12. So <coughs> you've got a lot of options in that thing. I'll show you how this camera works. Now I've got the camera mounted on a Reese J100 tripod with a J250 head. I like using the Reese tripods for this kind of camera, either 8x10 or even 4x5 all the way up to 8x20 because it's a great tripod for these wood cameras. Now you've got the, uh, I've leveled the head like I have in the previous video, so I'm going to open up the camera just, and it works exactly the same, before I forget, any of these big cameras is exactly like having a big 4x5. The opening and closing is exactly the same, all the movements are the same, it's just bigger and you've got to move your arm a little bit further. So there's not a whole difference between 4x5 to 8x20, it's just a matter of the camera's a little bit bigger. So let me work on this right now. So we're going to open up the little hook, loosen up the two knobs on the side, and you'll remember from previous videos probably, let me just turn this around a little bit. There's a little tiny notch here for the rear stand, so you basically push this back and lock it in the notch. And on the canons for the swing and the shift, let me just turn this around a little bit, you've got the top knob, the top lock, and the bottom lock. So let me just, I'll go over those once again, the camera's all set up. So the next thing I want to do is release these two locks here, and this, these locks are for the rear focus. So you've got plenty of room when you're opening up the front standard so you won't scrape the bellows with the front standard things there. Hold on one sec. Just turn this around a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to slide this all the way back so that these rods, these things don't scrape the bellows. So it's very important all the way back and then up. And again, there's a little notch in here, so we're going to lock this down. Lock this side down, and then just set the bellows up. Let me just lock this, and then I'll go through all the details. Okay, so as I said, exactly as on the smaller cameras, you've got this lock lever here, locking lever here for your front swing. You've got the top locking bars here. They're like little bars for your access tilt. This camera has a separate knob for access tilt and a separate knob. These two locking bars, knobs, whatever you want to call them, are for rise and fall. So it's kind of convenient when you're just locking either one. So it has, and also it's got base tilt in the front in addition to access tilt. So you've got swing, rise and fall, access tilt, and base tilt in the front. And on the rear, you've got base tilt in the rear, and you've got these two locking bars in the back again. Okay, now the, the top one is for the swing and the bottom one is for the shift and that's actually how you interchange the backs you undo the bellows in the front and you just shift the whole back and bellows off to make it into an 8x10 when you're converting the camera so you want to lock these two in the back so it's nice and solid and also they all have engraved focusing scales if you look at my video on the uh, how to focus a camera using focusing scales. All the Canon cameras on usually on the right side, they have a focusing scale. So, and also these two locking bars are for the rear standard. So usually you do focusing from the rear. 
The two inside are for the front standard for longer lenses. And then let me just set this back to neutral. Let me set this back. One of the nice things about these little locking bars, it's a lot more secure when you're focusing because there's no shift when you're turning a knob. So let's do the rear. And one of the other advantages of the Canon cameras are, let's just turn this sideways so you can see a little better. These two little bars here, one on each side, and you wanna, when you have a short lens, you could slide it forward. So if you have a shorter lens, let's say maybe a, a 210 uh, Super Angulon or 210 Super Similar XL, which will cover these formats, you might want to slide this back a little bit till it's past, you watch it in the ground glass till it's in focus, go a little bit past lock one, and then you want to lock the other separately so that it's squared. And then focusing is just as I have on that video on using scale focusing. And also for a camera like this, you want to be sure you get a ground glass protector because I don't want to get any phone calls say, I'm in the middle of nowhere, I just broke my ground glass. So you always want to get a ground glass protector. Canon makes them for all his size cameras. They're a sheet of plexiglass that's a U shape and it fits around both sides of your ground glass. And whatever size camera you have, I'd recommend getting one of those. And one of the tricks I always recommend also when you're using a big camera or anything is uh, when you put your film holder in, you want to make sure you hold this down because if you put the film holder and this moves a little bit, you get a light leak, and it's kind of an expensive light leak with special order films. Um, also, since we're talking about ultra-large format, you have to remember once a year, Ilford does the ULF for ultra-large format. It's a special order film sizes, so 717 is standard now. In fact, 717 uh, from Ilford is available in HP5, FP4, and now Delta 100. So you have three choices of film, and one of the advantages of having the ultra ultra large format special order is what you do is usually it's around mid may to mid june you only have to order one box you can order one box or as many as you want you don't have to do a complete order so if, and the other thing with getting any of these cameras it involves a lot of pre-planning so in other words the camera is not going to be in stock it could take anywhere from a couple of months to a year keith guarantees one year for his cameras also the fact is you have to get special order film holders they could take you know six months to get also um, there's a company that makes nice ones you can ask me about for, uh, that match the color. They'll be actually made out of walnut, just like Keith's camera. So there's a lot of special order things. I, I can help you with lenses that would work for these. Thank you for watching. And I hope this helps a little bit understanding ultra large format.